Welcome to my little corner of YouTube, whoever's watching this. This is part 7 of Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. I'm recording this uh, sort of early evening, so apologies if there's a multitude of cars in the background. I'll try to edit out what I can, but you know, it'll be what it'll be. Um, now last night I actually sat down and did a whole no, I don't want to say a whole bunch of side quests. I did a handful of the side quests and initially I was recording it, but then mm, sort of stopped because it just didn't really seem like the most spectacular content in the world. So I'm just going to jump straight to Vermeer. Um, I still don't have Rex's side quest, so like, whatevs Trev. He just won't get his armor back. It's not my problem, really. And I don't think it's particularly crucial in any of the other games either, so... But I hope everyone out there as well who's watching this... Had a doctor's appointment today, gotta go get some blood tests done again. Gotta go get my brain scanned. Got to go back to my doctor and get her to fill out the right form <laughs> that I needed her to fill out, which she didn't fill out. Um, but, you know, that is what it is. Had a bunch of coffee. That's always nice. I'm a huge coffee drinker. Let's go. I know, I'm really vibing with... um. Garrus and Tally at the moment, so I'm just gonna stick Men with that. A signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Okay. So, uh, this level sort of has two parts to it. So, depending on how long this video ends up being, I might... I'm gonna try and release it all in one go, but it might end up being two videos. So we'll just see how long it all takes. Trying very hard not to run over those weird creatures. It's really hard in this Mako. <laughs> wow. Initially I was kind of like, eh, this area looks relatively the same, but um, no, it definitely looks better. Oh, dude, where'd you come from? No creeping up on me like that. Ooh, I need to change their weapon upgrades too. Hold on, let me do that before I get any further. Oh, and uh, I also meant to delete all of this stuff before starting, so I might do that at the end of this video. Um, because I have a feeling I will run out of inventory room very soon. Where are my Tungsten? Here we are. Or Tungsten, sorry. Alright, let's make sure I get her um, shotgun this time. Perfect. Alright, we are good to rock and roll. Oh, jeez. Makes me want to go visit a beach. 
Maybe tomorrow I'll do that. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry, I killed the four legged creatures. No! Jeez, I really do appreciate that you can fire these guns at close range. That's just. Oh, so much better. think if there's anything of value up this way. I'm also just trying to kill everything I can <laughs> without getting out of the Mako. Okay, good. Sometimes I don't know why when I change, it seems to be when I change weapons, for some reason the sniper automatically gets equipped. I'm just like, stop, don't do that. Spider Geth, Spider Geth, does whatever a Spider Geth does. Oh, there's two up there, hello. Do nothing for me. Do any of you do anything for me? Well, apparently I have no Omnigel. Whoops. Dang it. Wait, so really? This was just for loots and fun stuff? Ugh. That's slightly devo. Nope. <laughs> Whoops, ran into the wall. Shot out from everywhere, apparently. No, go backwards. Why? Go forwards. Nope. Okay. Hmm, which way to go? I think I've gone the wrong way, but that's alright. I'm happy to fight anything and everything. Hola! How are you shooting behind you? Don't do that. Weirdo. Shooting out of its butt. No! <laughs> Please turn around, thank you! Jeez, these controls so aren't intuitive anymore. shooting me from behind. No, nope, go backwards.
is down, Commander. You Point betcha. Close to the Solarian base now. Out. Ready to continue on your mark, Commander Shepard. Thanks, Garrus. I know I'm leaving behind a lot of loot, but I just feel like I've got plenty as is. <laughs> Don't want to be greedy, you know? Still waiting for that notification. Oh, what? What? Uh, I thought I opened the gates. Apparently not. Let's try that again. BRB. Okay. Got that done. BRB. And it just stood there and took it. No was it, bro. Okay. Good. That's it. We should be free to make our way to the cave. Almost missed that opening. Jeez. Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Oh no, my poor ship. There go the Solarian. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Oh, that's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. 
If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful. But be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. Okay, so I guess this is one of these uh, kind of crucial, but not really crucial moments. I don't think it has a huge effect in the grand scheme of things, but let's just see how I go. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon, and if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. So that's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. These Krogan are slaves of Saren. Puppets, tools to be used and discarded. Is that what you want for your people? No. We were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. Shepard, you've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Yes! Okay, so that's like the best possible outcome. Again, you get to the third game and it doesn't really affect much of anything in the grand scheme of things, but you know, still cool to keep Rex around. Okay, so then uh, this ushers in the second part of this level and there is again another choice that has to be made which again doesn't really affect too much in the grand scheme of things. No, where's, where's Kira here? Oh, right there. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take a break, and I'll come back once again, another seamless transition. Alright, let's keep going, yo! Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. 
I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation in a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Okay, so for this mission, I am kind of doing things a certain way for reasons that I will explain later, just in case anyone watching this hasn't played the game, I don't want to spoil anything. Nothing Quarian. Alrighty then, let's go. We just get to go for a casual stroll. Check for long range turrets helping the guest target. Tag 
Okay, just went a bit radio silent there because as a family we're brilliant at setting off the fire alarm. I was just waiting for that to stop. We kind of forget that the um, stove chop has a fan that, you know, sucks up all the smoke <laughs> when we're cooking. I'm guilty of it. My dad does it all the time. His mum just did it then. They're calling sat strikes. Diego, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Aircraft heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Okay. Just have to remember where's the best spot to go. Don't think it's up here. Oh, can't we can't see. Okay. What? Oh. <laughs> it's just like, who's shooting where? What? Oh, good job, guys. Yeah, yes, okay, there we are. <laughs> That's what I was waiting to see. So the way I remember these levels is often longer than they actually are, so I'm hoping this will be shorter than what I'm thinking. We've got access to base security. We should be able to cut the alarms for a Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Oh gosh, <laughs> not quite used to them running on us yet.
Is someone out there? There's a bit of a side quest down there, but like, eh. Take them out. Oh no, this is not where I want to be. So is bruh. I'm gonna leave you. This is where I want to be. <laughs> I always get that spot confused. Hmm. This can only mean good things. Exploded on us. What? Okay, anyways, what else, Travis? Let's go. Ah yes, coming up is one of the best reveals in a game I think I've ever seen. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not gonna hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. Give me one reason I should help you. I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Ah! <laughs> Even in the middle of combat this time for awkward elevator rides. <laughs> And there's been a bit of a tonal shift. I wonder why that could be. This is not good. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. 
It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. A cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance. And at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the path as we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us! Letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out! You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console's been disabled. Orders, Commander. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. I love that conversation so much, because obviously it's a bit of a turning point in the game when you realize who the main bad people are, but then also just the unknown about who they are and why they're doing what they're doing. And then just that like confidence and superiority because, you know, they're eternal, they know more than we do, all that jank. Dang it, I keep forgetting they regenerate. Okay, I don't know where he just went. I think we're almost there. Ah, yes. 
I think there's this area and then another and then stuff goes down. Oh, dang it. Always forget. <laughs> Stinking Krogans and their regen abilities. Uh, okay. Ooh, help! Ugh. How do I heal? That's not it. That's also not it. There we are. I guess what happens when you take r rockets to your face? <laughs> Look out! They followed us up! As always, elevators. Boom. Shame there's no elevator music. That would just make these bits. <laughs> Bit of comedy relief. There's the gun. Clear those gaps and get the charges. Guys, what are you shooting at? You betcha. I'm a waiting. Can't take out my own ship, dang it. That would have been the ultimate plot twist. in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kirahi is dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. Uh oh. What could be happening?
Reinforcements. We better hurry. Heads up, LT. We just spotted a troop ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Alenka, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I... I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. No. I kind of, to be honest, I don't really care who out of these two survives, so I sort of go back and forth. And like one playthrough, I'll let Ashley live. One, I'll let Caden live. And to be fair, I don't really like what they do to Ashley's character in the third game, which is partly why I've chosen not to save her this time around. But that's that's a, a long story in and of itself. I won't get on my soapbox just yet. Someone still alive that I don't know about? Hello? Ah, there you are. Commander, set that nuke and get out! We can't hold them! Damn it! Suppressing fire! Cover your flank! Cover your- The Solarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Sovereign's manipulating you, and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. 
If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together, we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. Visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Boss battle time! Yeah, yeah. What the shield regenerate? That's rude. Apparently, there's people. Hold on. By people, I mean Gath. Naturally. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? It wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs> I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... 
A distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a convoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. I mean, I guess, yeah, it was kind of like, we don't believe you, but you can go do whatever you want with your new title and ship get lost. Okay, thanks, bye. Um, alright, well, this is where I'll end this video. There was something I wanted to say. But I don't rightly remember. This, um, there should only be two more videos after this, I think. Um, we have to do the stuff to get to Ilos, and then Ilos itself is relatively short, and then there's just the very end, and, you know, that's also relatively short, so, um, yeah, should be able to get it done in two videos, but we'll see how it all goes. Um, thank you all for watching. Whoever has been, as always, I greatly appreciate it. And on that note, I shall see you on the flip side. Bye!